Today, we visit different places in the holy city of Jerusalem, Israel. Among these places, the Western Wall. As a part of my command and leadership course, we learn about why Jerusalem is so important to all. We visited a number of places that are sacred to our religions. Here, you can clearly see the Mount of Olives, Dome of the Rock, Church of the Redeemer, and of course, Church of the Holy Sepulcher. All sacred and holy to all religions separately. While we were able to see the history of Jerusalem in the back, this is the modern Jerusalem, again from the Tower of David's viewpoint. It is a very unique experience to meet with all this and step where our forefathers have many many centuries ago. Just think of this. For so many centuries, different soldiers of different people, different nations, guarded this place. And as they defended it for so long, it still needs a lot of preservation, done nowadays. It really is quite amazing to see all of this still intact and in good shape. Very thankful to the people who take care of it. The Tower of David is not just a tower, it also has a lot of different features like this courtyard and other hidden features. They host events here, and that's why you can see the modern chairs in this courtyard. That flag is no ordinary sight to see, especially in the city of Jerusalem. Not to mention, people conduct their business from this home, and they also commemorate the 70 years to Israel. A lot of this city's architecture in plain simple buildings is just simply amazing. There are no other words to say. Just look. In the evening, after we got refreshed, we went to the Western Wall. And if you do not know what that is, and why people are sticking their faces in it, well, that is the closest spot to the Holy of Holies that was in the first temple. We then traveled to the tunnels underneath the Western Wall. As the tour went on, we went closer and closer in the tunnels to the western wall. Behind us you can see the amazing technology that we just came from. Jews will leave notes and a lot of other little things, memorabilia sometimes even, in the western wall, in the nooks and crannies. They do this in the hopes that God will listen to all of their prayers and maybe even accept the gifts that they leave there. Besides it being sacred, it is truly an amazing thing to be there and witness all of this. They even have a synagogue underground as a place for you to be able to pray as a group because praying in groups in Judaism is always better. A lot of the times I was expecting something to fall down on us, but it actually held really sturdy and well. Many little Jewish details like this mezuzah can be found here. These halls might even remind you in architecture of Moria in Lord of the Rings. They never cease to amaze us with the 
crazy futuristic technology that they have in this place, alongside the 2,000 year old walls and underground caves that were built. This short movie portrayed Holocaust survivors having their bar mitzvah. It might be cutting edge technology, but it still takes a really long time to get down back in there. One of the most amazing things about the Western Wall is that you will not hear any planes, any cars, ambulances, sirens, or anything else. All you hear is chatter, like a marketplace 2,000 years ago. Today, we went to the Hall of Remembrance of all the fallen soldiers and people who died defending this country. This architectural feat was designed like a bell with a beam of light going all the way down it. Everyone is wearing headphones so the instructor doesn't have to yell. The bricks making this bell are actually made from the same material our Israeli tanks are made of. These are not normal bricks. They're only coated and covered to look like ones. While you have to get close, once you do, you can see on the bricks are the names of all the people who died defending our country. This is the new light train that they had just got done building in Jerusalem. In the evening, we decided to take the whole group and go eat. We picked a restaurant that's over 100 years old and is very famous in Jerusalem. <laughs>
Well, until next time, enjoy your fully living. If you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like, comment and share, fully living. And then I cried and cried and cried, but that's when Hadar was at base, so I just like cried myself to sleep. I'm going to taste the big You want more? We got it because we're almost out. Military vehicle.